Make a button. Oh, there's nowhere to actually um, stick another portal on, though, is there? Okay. I guess that's what he wanted you to do, wasn't it? Just put a portal underneath it to get rid of it. But you can just run past it, can't you? You may as well make use of the um, all too common modern day health regeneration shit. Source engine improvements are really, really great. That's what I meant to mention it earlier. But it's just really, really great. I better move out of the way of that. <laughs> like, I mean, like, it's like I was saying, it's so noticeable, the improvements. It looks a lot better. There's a lot of extra bells and whistles that I've added, like all the, um, the crumpling of metal and um, debris destruction and stuff like that. That's all been improved. Strangely, with all these graphic improvements and all the extra bells and whistles, it runs better as well. I don't know, they've done a really good job of updating the engine, and strangely, like I say, if I ran Portal 1 now, while recording with Hypercam, it would run and look worse, especially on the recording. If for some reason, Hypercam was always dodgy with Source Engine games. It always looked a bit choppy. But it doesn't with Portal 2, it not only runs really fucking excellent, it records excellent as well, I don't know what they've done, I mean, I'm sure what they did, it wasn't with anything to do with recording in mind, but they've, um, they've done a really, props to Valve on the um, the updates to the source engine, it looks really nice, runs really nice. Ah, oh, brilliant, you made it through, well done. Okay, Lighting's nicer you. as well. We've still got work to do, at least you can't touch us, man, what's happening? Um, hmm, okay. Okay, uh, don't There's a good example move. of it. Okay, alright, so, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, for God's sake, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Mad. But yeah, like, um, perfect timing. A good example of the um, improved lighting on Source Engine. I think it's improved lighting anyway. Kind of reminds me of Doom 3, maybe it's just because Doom 3 you spend 90% of the game in dark like with this kind of fucking lighting effect going on, but very similar, is it not? But I don't remember um, source lighting being this kind of level. Looks really nice. Where's Wheatley going? There he is. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? Really nice shadow. They shadowing. say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. <laughs> All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal. Wheatley's shit ghost story. It's not even a ghost story, is it? Not really. Would you want me to go, Wheatley? I can't, if you're not going to bring Torch down, jeez. Guess we still need to be up here, what? I don't know. As soon as I was slanging around there... Is it on the conveyor? Down the conveyor? Oh, Portal Secondary Fire. Jump across. Oh, I see. There, fuck that one. There we go. Let's keep moving, the factory entrance must be around here somewhere. Yeah, really nice. Careful, careful. Wait, careful, let me light this jump for you. I don't need... I could do that jump perfect fan with no light. I don't think it says anything else there. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Nah, just run off. Oh, nicely done. Yeah. Oh. Panel, get out of work. Quick, this way. One of there. I don't know. Last time I just I kind of went all the way to the furnace, but yeah, I saw you. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself. Nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. <laughs> the um, sorry, that's uh, no, I wouldn't say smelly. Just, just attending to the humans. Sorry about that. That just, that just slipped out. 
a bit insensitive. Um, the smell of humans. <laughs> if you pause for that, Wheeler. Oh, this is cool. Okay, wait, let me light this path. The you. Tron room. All the Tron cubes and shit flying around everywhere. So I just love how they've expanded on everything. Like, you just get to see more of the inner workings and you more character development and, like, more to do with Aperture and stuff. Really good stuff. We're supposed to go over here. Yeah, we are. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment. Portal up to that passage, and I'll see you on the other side. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. It's alright. Door? No? We've got to get you out of that room! Can you reach that wall back there? That one? Yeah, easy. Like that. Hey, what's over here now? Another wall over here! Oh, I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look. It's great. And their folklore. Wonderful and very colourful. <laughs> Box that turret. Ready for home sale. Whoa, shit. Oh, wait. No, that, no that's right. Right. Well, I'm going to take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom. Good luck. See you, Weets. You know, you, you could hop down from, you know, tube bit to tube bit, but let, let's try... Oh, fuck me, I bollocked it. Oh, we, we got two. Yeah, well, we skipped one tube, didn't we, so no worries. I guess falling all the way down probably wouldn't have been great. There we go. Which way now? Ah, over it. There we go. Time bloody flies when I play this. I, the first time, I keep fucking, I should stop referencing the first one. But, like, when I was playing the, um, the first time through, time just fucking flies. These these hour episodes, man, it's like, woof, straight through. Before you know it, you're starting off at the beginning of the episode. Alright, dude, how's it going? Blah, 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 blah. And next thing you know, it's like, well, you got about 10 to 15 minutes left. So, oh, oh, great, that went quick. Industry standard flat panel. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Oh, I see, okay. On to the turret, turret line. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. Oh, really? I don't know. It seems pretty fun. But now nah, we'll leave it. Which way now? Over here? Over here? Turret, shoot me. You're different. Oh, you're different? No one didn't tell me. How are you different? Oh, I don't know. You see? Yeah, no worries. No worries. No worries, lass. Tell you worries. What? Get mad? No, there's no need. Not yet. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, shit. That's alright. Don't make lemonade. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I wonder where near her. Uh, nowhere near the fucking emancipation yeah, field. That's right. Little Target, quiet. Target, oh, through the door, yeah. Huh? No. Oh. So what am I supposed uh, to do here? Well, I tried. <laughs> Defective turrets, oh shit. Oh no, they go for me. Shit. Yeah. Target, quiet. Okay, folks. Squeaky voice. I like how the defective ones are dudes, and the uh, working ones are um, lasses. It's fucking weird, though. Oh shit, shit, shit. No bullets. Oh, you, you can't shoot. You can't use my own portal for that. I like the defective turret, it's probably sweet. Template. Response. Catch him. Template. Response. Oh, brilliant, you made it through. Well done. Follow me, you're gonna love this. 
Almost there. Ta da! Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. See that scanner right there? Right? It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss. And it's using that master turret there as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Right, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical. Um, you'll need to turn around while I do this. One second, guys. Alright, dudes, back again. Sorry about that. I was, um, not an ideal time right there to um, pause, but sorry about that. Oh, I missed his Zakin. You want me to look away? I forgot about that. Wheatley's hacking is fucking I, I, I think I said at the beginning, his hacking is either shit or great, depending on what way you want to look at it. But Claire got me this achievement. Wait, well, take that one off. Should do it. Template missing. Continuing from memory. Oh, that's a bit. What, what, what do you have there? Uh, I didn't even Template. see. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get here and take that turret off when you go, oh, I'm supposed to go back and get a defective turret. But like I did, I swear to God, I did the exact same here as what I did on the first time I played it through. I just, I mean, you see me doing it before, I just like carrying shit around me. I'll, I'll, I'll take a turret with me, no worries. So I, I like the defective turret, so I grabbed him and brought him in here. I'm like, oh, so I guess that's what you want to do. So straight away, I just put him straight on there. Whereas Claire was like, oh, I guess you want to put yourself on there. Different way of thinking, innit? And you got an achievement for doing that. For putting yourself on there rather than a turret, but this is the way that you're supposed to do it. What? What are you? Oh, brilliant! It's, that's brilliant. It's brilliant. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm going to go and hack the door open. Okay, I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about ten minutes. Keep one eye on the door. Could just go through, but I, I didn't see if he actually had any more dialogue last time, so does he say anything else? I don't think he does. Nah. This door's actually pretty complicated. Oh, typically it does. Let's work. <laughs> I didn't hear those dialogue from um, defective turrets on here. They seem to have a different array of um, scenes on here. Right, don't you laugh? Oh, there we go. How long's the door been open? It just I mean, Was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, nope. yeah, fair enough. The important thing is it's open, but it's, in, it's just mentioned in the future. Cough or something. What? You want us to. Um, what are you doing up there? We are just hanging out. Fuck it, let's go on. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Yeah, ov over here? Poss yeah, I guess so. I have to say it's some, like, meeting or workroom or something? Fuck knows. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. Oh, man. And Old dot matrix printer style there. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging. I used to make stuff like that in the room. Really I used to make big, um, back when printers, like, you first got a printer, my first printer I got was on an Amiga. And it was like, holy shit, you can take something from your computer. Bear in mind this was like fucking better part of two, um, yeah, almost two decades ago, not far off. Yeah, 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 almost two decades ago. And it was like, you can take something from your printer, uh, sorry, from your computer, and it can go through the printer onto paper. Wow, what the fuck? So you can you can go into your fucking, what was the paint program on the Amiga? I can't remember what it was called. Some of y'all are, are veterans and know the Amiga programs. What was it called? No, it wasn't called paint, was it? What was it called? Was it Deluxe Paint? Deluxe Paint, I think it might have been called Deluxe Paint. See, even on Amiga, you had more advanced paint programs than fucking Microsoft Paint. It was Deluxe Paint, I think it was called Deluxe Paint. But yeah, I used to make like pictures and stuff like that and sayings and shit. And then you print them out and because it like the paper was like that where it all fucking is it printer paper it's called or some shit like I can't remember what it's called, this kind of weird paper with the dots and like the little holes on the side. And um 
I should have researched on Wiki before. I should have researched my printer papers before I came on um, and started recording. I'm only joking, by the way. Who gives a fuck about printer? Anyway, anyway, yeah, you can, you can make pictures and stuff like that, and just banners and shit like that. I used to fucking banner around my room and shit like that, like a fucking border. It looked shit, but in the day, it was like, wow, cool. Potato power. She's done the um, the, the, the problem and um, the hypothesis for it. Materials used and a conclusion procedure. You remember that back in school and shit like that? Did Mickey do absolutely every? It was just a very simple thing. You had to do a very simple thing, like pour pour hot water into a cup, and you'd have to like, oh, well, it's like, well, the problem is going to be that I have to get the the hot water from the tap, and then like I have to do get get it into some container to put it in into the cup or something like that. And then um, you have to analyse how you were going to do it and, you know, what was involved and the water is hot and the beaker is not or the cup is not and um, then you have to do, yeah, your procedure and stuff like that, what you've done to do it and then um, your analysis, what, what you'd learn and, you know, what what would happen from it and stuff like that. No, sorry, your, your conclusion was that, wasn't it? It's like, I concluded that taking hot water from a tap and putting it into a cup was really fucking piss easy and didn't require pages of work in my book. Thank you for making what should have taken five minutes take two hours worth of lessons. Yeah, you know, I could have been learning something better in those hours, rather than fucking stupid shit. Veggie voltage. Electricity from a potato? Yes, wow! Totally fucking cool, man. See, I always wondered like this, like, it, uh, the same was in, uh, you remember doing this shit in Fear 2? I never watched my video and stuff like that. I like, I like to look at this stuff, this is, this is, this is good extra material in the game, you, sh you should be paying attention to this shit. And there was, in the school, there was lots of kids' drawings and um, work they'd done. And I wondered if that had come from, I mean, did like, um, was it Monolith that did um, Fear? I'm not sure. Or Valve in this case. Did they actually get the kids to do this work? Or did they go to a school and like give them a project? And then they take the, the work from the project to put into the game? Is that how they do it? That's, that would probably be the easiest way of doing it. Uh, I'd, like, I'd like to know. These are things that I'd like to know that they don't put in the credits. Potato battery and it, it's not a, not a lemon. Potato potato battery versus lemon battery. I think the potato wins, doesn't it? Baking soda volcano? Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. I'm guessing this wasn't one of the scientists' children. You know, I don't want to be snobby, but let's be honest, it's got it's got manual labourer written all over it, hasn't it? I'm not saying they're not as good as the professionals, you know, they're just they're just a lot dumber. <laughs> Here's a little factoid as well. I've never seen one of these um, baking soda and vinegar volcanoes. It seems like like for science fairs in America, this is just what I've gathered from watching TV and shit like that and film and stuff like that. They seem really, really common in America, like science fairs and like kids projects stuff like that. Never seen one. Never seen one. Never had shit like science fairs over here. Never, um, maybe they do nowadays. I don't know. Not when I, in my time anyway. Anything is possible with potato. Anything. God, Absolutely. It's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes this. at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve though. It's the T-Virus Spud. Seriously, man. Potato don't grow like that. It don't matter how many years you leave a potato there. Potato don't do that. Potato don't grow... I mean, potatoes do go weird like that, but surely not like that. Surely not. I mean, seriously, something has been injecting at that. T-Virus is my retina. T-Virus. It's T-Virus Spud. Go ahead now, I'm pretty sure it. we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Down here? Yeah. Neurotoxin Suus. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. <laughs> okay, let's try this way. Let's try indeed. Slow doer. Oh, it is his rail. Kept it far off. I'm sure, he's gonna come bursting out of there. Ah, I knew we were going the wait, right wait, way. Oh, you go around there. This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not gonna be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top. So uh, let's go and investigate. Let's. Is this dog open? Ah, uh, it does. I thought there was gonna be a fucking low screen there. 
There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. <laughs> but uh, real enough for them, I suppose. No. Oh, please. There's a laser just asking for it there, isn't there? Oh, no, it's not. I'm afraid the door's locked. Just checked it. No way to hack it, as far as I can tell. Uh, mechanism must... Oh, now look at that. That's a big laser. Probably best to ignore it, though. Just leave it be. We don't know where those panels it's cutting are going. Could be somewhere important. Although, it does give me an idea. What if we stand here and let the gentle hum of the laser transport us to a state of absolute relaxation? It might help us think of a way to open the door. It's not much of a plan, if I'm honest, but uh, I'm afraid it's all we got at this point. Barring a sudden barrage of speech from your direction. Improbable. I think this works, doesn't it? Alright, so, silent contemplation is. Mysterious button. Sorry, sorry. Silence. Do not speak. Even the silence. Let the silence descend. Here it comes. 100% silence. Never gets quite through, does it? By the way, if you come up with any ideas, do flag them up. Don't, don't feel you've got to stay quiet because I've said absolute silence. So if you come up with an idea, mention it. But otherwise, absolute silence. Oh, here we go. Starting. Yeah, pushing the big red button would probably be. It's all right. We're still going on one. There we go. I can use this equipment to shut down the neurotoxin system. It is, however, password protected. Ah, alarm bells. No, don't worry. All right, not a problem for me. You may as well have a little rest, actually, while I work on it. Okay. Here we go. The hardest part of any hack is the figuring out how to start a phase. That's always tricky. But let the games begin. All right. Love the animation on his um, on his eye. It's proper good. That. Computer. Not a surprise. To be expected. Very emotive. To be Check that off the list. Computer identified. Tick. There is a box part here. Probably got some electronics in there and. A monitor. Yep, check. Yes, that will be important, I imagine. I'll keep my eye on that. In case something useful comes up. Important words like password identified or something like that. <laughs> and there's a flat bit. Not sure what that is, but noted. Anyone says to me, is there a flat bit? Yes, there it is. That's the floor, Wheatley. Spinning thing. Mm, not sure. The floor. What's the floor doing? What's the floor up to? Do you know what? It's holding everything up. Holding everything up. The floor is important. Holding everything up. It's doing its job. Yeah. Pens. Might need those. Don't see any though. <laughs> so if we start making a little you need a pen here, like? we could be here all night. You know, pens, for instance. So let's stick with things we can see, not not stuff that isn't here. Alright. He goes on. Face with the neurotoxin central control he goes on with this begin. one. Hello, Gav. Neurotoxin inspector. Need to shut this place down for a moment. Here's my credentials. Shut, shut yourself down. down. I am totally legit from the Board of International Neurotoxic uh, Observers from the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> no. Nothing. It's. I tell you, he's good, this one. He is good. I'm going to need to break out the expert level hacking maneuvers now. All right, you ask for it, mate. He's going to drop himself onto cool. it. Cool, cool. Look at that over the, oh, what's that over there? Lovely bird. Lovely. Have a look at that. Gorgeous plumage. Majestic. Look over there. Won't be here long. That lovely bird like that will be off. Once in a lifetime opportunity, this, to see a lovely bird with lovely plumage. Be a shame to miss it, wouldn't it? Just for the old neurotoxin. Neurotoxin will still be here tomorrow, whereas that bird is gone. It's going to be gone any minute. It's already got one talon off the branch. Going to be gone. Oh, it's fluttering its wings. It's t I'll tell you what, mate. I'll come in there for a minute and cover you so that you can have a look at this lovely bird. All right, so I'll come in. I'll deal with all the neurotoxin stuff, and then you come out here and look at this because it is lovely. It is lovely. You want to you want to get out here fast, seriously, because all of this my pleasure sounds are going to fry it away any second. So oh, it's not working. It's not interesting. Bloody birds. <laughs> I think, I'm not 100%, but I think his uh, barrage of dialogue is gone. It's done. Do you smell neurotoxin? Hold up, the neurotoxin levels are going down. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. If you can get any lower than that. Yeah, I can. Hold up, Tony. Neurotoxin levels to 50%. No, it's down. Sorry. My mistake. Oh, there's one up there as well. There we go. 
wait for the next one to come. There we go. Three. And four. Neurotoxin at zero percent. Yes. Hold on. Whoa. Warning. Neurotoxin pressure has reached dangerously unlethal levels. Dangerously unlethal levels? The crumpling and shit though. Really nice. confetti in there as well. <laughs> like I was saying before, the amount of dialogue, the extra amount of dialogue that Wheatley's got is really staggering. It's like, you've just you got to stand there and just appreciate how much effort's gone into, just, not just the writing of it all, but all the extra voice acting and stuff like that. He earned his pay on this. He definitely did. This should take us right to her. I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all. Well, they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them. I don't know how to support them myself. Oh, and I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving this. It's Why fun as fuck. Sweet tube coaster. This place is huge. And we're only seeing the top layer. It goes down for miles. All sealed off years ago, of course. We should be getting close. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on her face. No neurotoxin, no turrets. She'll never know what hit her. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, because I, I, mm, I might not have thought this next part could be. Ah! <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. Good shit. Like I said, I like how they've expanded all the um. Fucking shit, get out of my eye, you fucking bitch. I'm trying to fucking sabotage. Yeah, I like all the um, just the sheer like. Areas where it's showing you like the, how expansive they are and just showing you how actually big the fucking Aperture Science place really is. It's fucking huge. Very big. Very big. But, let's drop down a save. There we go. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll catch you next time. See you dudes!